10 Bizarre Things Made From Jade Number 10. Jade Funeral Discs This bizarre circular object is a large funeral by disc made from beautiful black jade. These have been placed onto the bodies of Chinese elites that are deceased since 5000 BC. These were discovered in almost all tombs that were high in the hierarchy of the Hong Shuan culture that dated from 3800 BC to 2700 BC and the Liangzhu culture 3000 BC to 2000 BC. A practical and realistic function for these beautiful ornate objects is unknown, but they seem to have spiritual significance in Chinese history. Symbols on the discs commonly were related to the sky. You can imagine the great amount of elbow grease that went into carving the symbols onto these ancient pieces since they didn't have metal tools during the period of time they were made. The usual placement for the by disc is on the chest or stomach of the deceased person. Number 9. Offering to Underwater Gods? Something weird has been discovered underwater in Veracruz, Mexico in the underwater site of Arroyo Pesquero. Harder than steel and described as corncob shaped by archaeologists, this jade artifact is dated to be in between 900 BC and 400 BC. Not the well-known color of green, but instead more of a mottled brown and white colored jadeite. In an article recently published in the journal Ancient Mesoamerica, the team that found the artifacts called them, quote, extraordinary and unusual archaeological specimens. When you see the object, it has a cone coming from the top, engraved lines, and a rectangular shape. It is actually the water at the site that had importance. The artifact was found in a place where fresh water and salt water intersect, so from theories about these being weapons to these being offerings of some sort to gods in a sacred place, we still don't know. Number 8. Jade Tool from Emira Island. Ancestors to the modern day Polynesians, the Lapita people, and ancient populations from the Western Pacific are the likely group to have carved this strange two inch jade tool. This tool was discovered by archaeologists on Emira Island of Papua New Guinea and is dated to be at least 3,300 years old. Made from the hardest type of jade, it was quite an unusual find because this type of jade doesn't have a source site in New Guinea, so it must have traveled to get to where it was found. The closest match to this rare material came from Baja, California, even though that kind of trans-oceanic travel is not likely to have happened back then. Where did this mysterious thing originate from? Scientists studying this artifact are baffled. They are using the latest technique, only to find that the tool's chemical composition, quote, makes very little sense based on how we know how these rocks form. Very strange. Number 7. Burial Suits Made From Jade The tomb of Prince Li Yu Shang and his bride Princess Duo Wan held an incredible artifact, Jade Burial Suits. Discovered in 1968, the rumors of the Jade Burial Suits were around long before they were actually uncovered. When they were found in the 4th century, the rumors were confirmed. But how many are still out there? 15 suits have been discovered so far, and many more might have been looted. The fear of looters led to the suits to be banned. It's no use making a suit that took an entire decade to make if it was only going to be stolen. The bodies of Liu Sheng and Duo Wan had been soaking in the porous jade and possibly absorbing their genetic material. What can we learn from these bizarre jade suits? Number 6. Mysterious Liangshu Kong A Kong is jade that is masterfully carved into square tubes containing a circular hole. The Kongs often depict face-life designs on the square corners that are believed to be protective spirits. Living along the Qiyang River Delta, the Neolithic Liangshu culture made sure the tombs of the elite contained a beautifully and skillfully crafted Kong, suggesting that these were meant to represent power. There was a belief that jade possibly prevented flesh from decomposition, and that's why we see so many jade objects within burial sites. Jade was often carved with designs that made it easier or possible for the deceased to journey to their next life. Number 5. Jade Axes from Scotland You can see the teardrop shaped object that almost looks like it's emanating a green light. This object is an axe head made from jade. More than 1,600 of these axe heads made from jade have been discovered all over Europe, even copies made from stones that simply have the same coloring, but were locally found and could pass. How did a majority of them end up in Scotland? Experts have reported that they can trace the jade to the Italian Alps, which makes sense from the findings by archaeologists. Archaeologists have located a jade quarry in Monteviso, Italy, and it dates all the way back to 5200 BC. Once they access more, they could possibly find the quarry from which most of the jade was used to make these axe heads. The jade axe heads made their way from high in the mountains around 4000 BC, and it is speculated that they were still at least 100 years old when they arrived in Scotland. When it comes to the jade axe head's significance and rituals, or if they were tied to a spiritual aspect of life, 
still remains unknown. Number four, Mayan sun god with shark tooth. It seems as though the giant and ancient Megalodon has had quite the influence on Mayan culture. Megalodon teeth and regular shark teeth are prevalent at most Mayan sites and were used commonly as jewelry, weaponry, and bloodletting tools. It's known that coastal Maya would hunt sharks, so it's easy to assume that traders began to tell tall tales of the sharks. Tales of these sea monsters spread like wildfire into the inland, which inspired legends and things to be carved with bizarre creatures and things that go bump in the night. A mask was discovered in the northern jungles of Guatemala at the Rio Azul Mayan site made from jade. The sun god Kinich Awahu is depicted in this mask with one large shark tooth. Regular sharks in Mayan art was most often portrayed with the trait of having one tooth. Number three, red jade imperial seal. One color you don't expect to see when people talk about jade is the color red, especially a piece that would be described as quote, almost blood red. Not only is it unusual, but extremely rare. As you can see, the item has the nine dragon stamp and also an inscription, treasure of the imperial bush Qianglong. This particular item is quite amazing. And in December of 2016, the blood red Chinese imperial seal from the 18th century was sold by auction for an unbelievable 21 million euros. We can't name the collector who won the bid taking home this incredible find because it was done anonymously, but it used to belong to Emperor Qianglong at one period of time, which is why it is inscripted as it is, because the emperor used to seal his signed works with the nine dragons that represent masculine energy and power. The reason why this piece of jade is so valued is due to the period that it belongs to which would be 1736 to 1795. Art from this period is thought of as a high point in Chinese art. Number two, heirloom seal of the realm. This particular and certainly mysterious Chinese artifact has a legend attached to it. In 221 BC, the most fantastic piece of jade was ordered to be found and carved for Qian Shi Huang. The piece of jade was indeed found, but it is said that a man even lost his own leg in the attempt to gather the jade. Little to pay for an artifact carved from He Shi Bai Jade that was supposed to be an embodiment of the mandate of heaven? Qian Shi Huang might think so. When he got the carved jade, he united the six warring states under the Qian dynasty. A symbol of imperial authority, the seal was handed down from ruler to ruler until it mysteriously vanished around 900 AD. Why did such a prized seal disappear? No one knows for sure, but it is thought the emperors after Qian Shi Huang wanted to reduce the significance of the heirloom seal since possession of it was enough to consider a regime quote, historically legitimate, that they just hoarded the seals obsessively. Number one, Lord Pakal's funeral mask. You can see that this mosaic tiled mask is not something ordinary. The eyes made of obsidian, volcanic glass that is naturally occurring, and is made when lava cools really fast with very little crystal growth and conch shell. The tiles were of jadeite, albite, cosmoclar, and was even veined in quartz. Certainly extraordinary. This mask belonged to Lord Pakal the Great, and it was his burial mask, not something he wore around for war, stature, or fun. Archaeologists excavated his crypt in 1952 and found the jade mask attached to the king's face with a layer of stucco. After this mask was retrieved, it was put in Mexico City's Museo Nacional de Antropología and unfortunately stolen on Christmas Eve 1984. The culprits were two vet school dropouts who crawled through the air ducts of the museum to get the funeral mask and other valuables only to be thwarted in 1989. That's when the thieves decided to do an illegal exchange, the artifacts for cocaine. Only they didn't realize that the drug trafficker they were trading with was now a police decoy. So only a few years later after the mask and other artifacts were stolen, they were once again back in the rightful hands and in good condition.